Wide Sargasso Sea, a novel by Dominican-born British author Jean Rhys, was published in 1966 as a prequel and response to Charlotte Bronte's classic novel, Jane Eyre. The story explores the life of Antoinette Causeway, the character who would later become the madwoman in the attic in Jane Eyre, known as Bertha Mason. Set in the Caribbean during the 1830s and 1840s, the novel delves into themes of colonialism, race, identity, and the complexities of human relationships. The novel is divided into three parts, with the narrative primarily told from the perspectives of Antoinette and her eventual husband, Edward Rochester. The first part of the story focuses on Antoinette's childhood in Jamaica. Born to a white Creole family, Antoinette is raised on a declining plantation called Calibri Estate. Her mother, Annette, is a former slave owner struggling to maintain her social status and wealth after the emancipation of slaves in the British colonies. The family's situation is further complicated by Annette's remarriage to Mr. Mason, a wealthy Englishman who is oblivious to the simmering racial tensions on the island. Antoinette's world is marked by isolation, as she is caught between the white and black communities and rejected by both. A turning point in her life occurs when their home is set ablaze by hostile locals, resulting in the death of her younger brother and her mother's descent into madness. Antoinette is sent to live with her aunt and receives a strict religious education at a convent. In the second part of the novel, Antoinette's fortunes change when she is married off to an unnamed English gentleman, later revealed to be Edward Rochester. Their marriage is primarily arranged by Mr. Mason and Rochester's family for financial gain. Initially, Rochester is captivated by the beauty and exoticism of both Antoinette and the Caribbean landscape. However, he soon becomes disillusioned, feeling out of place in the foreign environment and questioning the motives behind his marriage. As the couple's relationship deteriorates, Rochester is influenced by rumors about Antoinette's family history, particularly her mother's mental illness. He begins to distance himself from Antoinette, and she, in turn, becomes increasingly paranoid and unstable. The couple's downward spiral is further fueled by Rochester's infidelity with a servant named Amelie, and Antoinette's eventual reliance on voodoo and obia practices in a desperate attempt to regain her husband's love. The third and final part of the novel shifts to England, where Antoinette, now known as Bertha Mason, is locked away in the attic of Thornfield Hall. The narrative is told through the eyes of Grace Poole, Bertha's caretaker. Bertha's mental state continues to deteriorate, and she becomes the tormented figure that haunts the pages of Jane Eyre. Wide Sargasso Sea serves as both a critique of and an alternative perspective to Jane Eyre, giving a voice and backstory to a character who was previously confined to the margins of the original novel. Through its exploration of colonialism, race, and identity, Reese's novel challenges the reader to re-evaluate their understanding of the classic text and the broader historical context in which both stories are set. The novel is a powerful examination of the consequences of displacement, prejudice, and the struggle for self-determination in a world that seeks to deny one's sense of self. We hope you are enjoying the content on the Library channel. Our team is dedicated to bringing you the best book summary, recommendations, and literary discussions on YouTube. If you are finding our content helpful, we would greatly appreciate it if you could take a moment to like this video, leave a comment with your thoughts or suggestions, and subscribe to our channel. This will help us grow and continue to provide you with more great content in the future. Thank you for your support and happy reading.